Uh, hello, my name is Iris Hauser, and I'm very, very honored to be in an exhibition in the Estevan Art Gallery and Museum. Uh, my show will be called Spectrum. Spectrum really spans quite a long time, uh, whereas most shows are, are from a very short body of work, and several different areas of exploration so that you can see the development of ideas. And to me, that kind of a show is really interesting. I love seeing how not just the sort of polished, finished work in a particular show, but the way the work develops, one idea spawns another. This show has three sort of separate shows in a way that, that could all stand alone as individual exhibitions because I find it really interesting how one body of work informs the others and how the first one is a basis for the second one and then the second one is a basis for the third one. And so there's this, this journey that's shown. So this, so this is a very unusual show for contemporary painting in that it has uh, three almost separate shows in one. So the first part of this exhibition is this very traditional uh, figurative painting, often in more subdued colors, but not always. And then it segues into the second group of paintings, which is a whole group of paintings that are very similar in their presentation. They're all the same size, they're all images of individual women just sitting on the ground. And to me, that's an important element, that, that sense of connection to the earth and the physicality of the female, as opposed to the sort of cerebral and elevated ideas of, of sort of male power. And so that's directly out of that gender exhibition, but it's based specifically just on ordinary women and trying to look at an ordinary woman as herself, and yet as a kind of a carrier of society's ideas about what it is to be a woman. So it's a very subtle show in a way. It's very simple and bold and just a simple figure on the ground, but it's it's got a lot of subtlety to it in terms of the individuality and that these are not just pretty ladies. They're individual people with their own visions of themselves. And then something that's happening in that one is I started out with these figures, but I wanted to subdue the background. So it was very simple. It would be like a plane that would be the floor and something representing a wall, nothing much, but just a space that they sat in. And then I started adding the odd little abstract element, a square that had no meaning, uh, a color that didn't represent anything. And then I suddenly started to really see the, the sense of wanting to take this abstraction and make pure abstract painting and figure painting work together. So the third group of paintings is also mostly women sitting on the floor, but they're not portraits anymore. They're figure and ground paintings. So the, they, they have a similar relationship and they came, one came out of the other, but they're, the idea is really about looking at this abstract art and looking at color and form as a language that creates a powerful expression and then the body uh, are the, you know, these, these various people that have a certain narrative sort of in their pose, in the way they're sitting. So I've, I've played around with different elements of abstraction. So it could just be that the background is very abstract and the figure is quite real. But sometimes I've also gone into the figure and have a realistic figure, but in an abstract color. So uh, one uh, image, the, you know, you might have a blue woman on an abstract background uh, or you know di different colors and sort of a, a whole segment of this is just called spectrum and it's one one person in done in different a lot of different colors so it's a really strong exploration of color and of how you can create mood and whatnot with color and shape in in very much of a rothko inspired way but married to the sort of narratives of a rembrandt so to me that that uh, ability to put the two really disparate things together is one of the great things about contemporary painting that we have the smorgasbord of history and we can kind of pick and choose from it and create our own painting salad of the things that move and, and touch us. And so you can be very much your own person, a uh, unique expression of your own voice, but nobody comes from a void all work comes out of other work. And I think to me that's a, a strong acknowledgement of that in this show. This is very much a kind of an homage show of a lot of painters that I really like. 
But ultimately, I think what really matters is, is that sense of connection, that people can come in and maybe they don't know these particular ladies that I painted, but they know women like that, or that they've maybe not looked at women in that way as, and seen the power of, of these women and the beauty of the ordinary. So that you, you look at the world that's, that's our world that we all live in and maybe see it a little bit differently or with a little maybe greater depth that you can kind of recognize yourself in your life at some point in, in these paintings.